Okay, make sure you're on mute if you can. Okay, um, when they accept your request, say, hey, friendly, hey, girl, like that little sentence we went over earlier. Um, Thanks for adding me, sending good vibes your way. I love connecting with new people, okay? Um, don't, like, don't, just be you. Like, you don't have to be anybody else, just be you. So important. Um, you must be present. Um, saying that you um, are gonna work out will only go so far. You gotta walk the walk. Working out is hard to do every day. I'm not a morning person and I am miserable when I wake up, especially if I'm out of coffee, okay? Um, but don't throw beach body all over them either. Um, don't say like, drinking the shake's gonna make you feel like a new person. I just love beach body. I'm so happy all the time. Like, it will drive people nuts. You may have like luck with that in the beginning, but that's not real. Um, be authentic. Instead of telling the world that you love Beachbody and their products, show them through your lifestyle and your daily activities. Okay? Very important. Sprinkle Beachbody in, and believe me, people are watching. The hardest thing the, um, and the most vital, the hardest and the most vital behavior for coaching is inviting. We have coaches that kill it with working out, reading personal development, but if you're not inviting and if we're not going full circle, okay, it's a business. Okay, so in order to grow, you got to invite people. And um, I promise you that these people aren't paying your bills. They may judge you for a second, but eventually they are going to join you. Okay? And I read a lot of um, personal development, and a lot of times when we think people are judging us, it's all in our head. No one's really judging you. And once I realized that, that I was judging myself, other people weren't, I was like, man, like I was so trapped in my head, was holding me back for so long. Um, so what happens when, when people say no? You continue to build your empire. You continue to rock your own journey. You continue to blow them away with your results. You continue to work on you and you continue to follow up with them and you continue to be consistent. I broke down yesterday and I was like, man, like I, I honestly, guys, was like upset and I wasn't feeling good about my business and my own fitness journey. That's normal. That stuff's going to happen. But you know what? I got up the next day because some days I'm like, man, you know, it would be so much easier if I just got up and went to teach every day, got my paycheck on Friday and I came home and I watched Dr. Phil. It would be so much easier. But I'm willing to do what most people aren't to be able to live the lifestyle that most people won't have. And once I realized that, I was like, yeah, like sometimes I wish I could just be normal, you know, and like, I don't know, whatever people do. Like, I have no idea even what's on TV anymore. Um, trust the process. Add someone. Um, trust the process. Connect with them. Target market. Like cats. Um, like, I hate to say wine because it's a touchy subject right now, but like <gasps> wine or uh, travel. Um, reach out with people, rock your social media posts, invite them to your journey authentically, follow up with them, and um, repeat over and over and over again. It is so important, guys, to share your journey um, and don't feel like, man, everyone is going to be judging me and my, everyone is going to be worried about what I'm doing everybody is going to worry about it. Like nobody's judging you. The people that are, um, you know, you're going to grow so much and change. If I was hanging around with the same people two, three years ago when I started doing this, no offense to like women my age, but it's hard to find a lot of women my age that are like working out and like really when I first started, you know, like I was friends with people. We sat in my garage, we drank wine and like went out to eat. That's what we did. And we complained about our kids and our failing marriages. That's what 38 year old women do. You know? So, um, but as you grow and you become more positive, that positivity and those people are going to be drawn to you. Um, Cause that's pretty much all I did. Before. Um, all right. So I probably blew your mind with way too much information. Um, I also, um, what was I going to say? 
Oh, yeah. I also um, invite you to check out the files tab. I'm weeding out a lot of things, um, tons of stuff. I added some um, important things that we need to know, and I'm going to break the files tab down into 10 documents that are important for us to know and cut the other fluff and all the noise around us because we're throwing so much stuff at you constantly. Um, it stresses, it even stresses me out and I'm the one doing it, you know, so I'm going to try to downsize what we're doing and make, if it's hard, if it's too hard for a fifth grader to do, then we shouldn't be doing it pretty much. Right. So, um, yeah. So what questions do you guys have? Questions? These are like, can it just be over? Okay. Actually, I have a question, Marie, but it's um, not, it's kind of in relation to what you're, you're, you talked about. So you had some really good like script stuff in there and just some really good reminders on how to like kind of keep the conversation going. Right. Um, does, so um, I, like I said, I do a lot of work from my phone because I do a lot of things when I'm traveling back and forth to work. So I have about an hour bus commute to work every morning and every evening. And so that's where I get a lot of my work done for Beachbody. And um, does anybody have any good um, like place or apps or anything to keep notes on? So I have a Samsung. I don't have an iPhone. So do you have any like good um, apps that, to keep notes? In that doesn't have a good note keeper this is on what here. I, do. Um, I talk to myself on Facebook, so I PM myself. Like I, you know what I mean? I message myself to me. Like if I have something, yeah. like I write to myself. Um, and then I just save them on my notepad. Um, I probably need a more efficient system for notes, but um, I'm going to, I can send you these PowerPoints and I'm also going to post them in the files tab and on the coach page so you can have them. But I can personally um, put them instead of a PowerPoint, the notes. So it looks like notes and send those to you, Jamie. Okay, cool. Would Jamie, that do you need more for like scripts and stuff to have them more readily accessible? Yeah. Well, like, there's little, like, there's some scripts that are, or, like, just messages that I've used before that really work to get a conversation going, and I want to be able to quickly reference them on my phone, like, just kind of pull up a document, okay. and I can cut so and paste. So, a couple and recommendations would be, uh, I know you said you don't have an iPhone, but, like, literally, I'm sure you have some kind of note thing, so, like, I have my script in my note thing. Um, like, of, of, I mean, I have an iPhone as well, but in regards to apps specifically, I don't know if you're aware you can do like Google Docs. So like Google Docs, yeah. Google, Sheets, Google Slides, all that. Like I uh, jumped in, into the Google world way too late. I wish I started it when I started coaching. Um, but that is a place where people t typically tend to access their scripts pretty quickly. So using Google Docs is something a lot of people do. And then another app is called Evernote um, yeah. that I know a lot of people use as well. I'm not sure if it's available for that phone or not. Um, but it's something I messed around with in the beginning too. But I'm just like not that tech savvy in my notes. Yeah comprehended better for me but a lot of people use Evernote and Google Docs so that might help that's good that's good to know thank you okay you're welcome yeah um I feel like the other scripts are really long and it's like hey this 21 day program and you get 15 portion control containers I was trying to relax last night and I was thinking about it and I was like that's all crap like it's too much people like the 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 other part you know what I'm talking about that long paragraph stuff that we're we're throwing at people the one thing that was in that that um, PowerPoint, I'm not saying it's crap because it it's good, but whoever made it's gonna like send me hate now. But um, like, I would say if I okay, so you you want to lose weight? This is why. Here's a little video about it. Here's a little bit about my team. Do you know what I mean? And then kind of don't send them like tons of information. I've been doing that and it's terrible. It bombards people. Then like I haven't had time to look. If you keep that conversation going, that what do they have to watch a one second video and then see your group, see your journey? They're gonna want to join no matter what. So I would look at the script before you send it, edit it, downsize it, and I'll post that PowerPoint and re-edit all your notes because I'm doing it over and over and over again. And the, how many people I'm inviting and how many people I'm talking to, I should not be getting that many no's because it's it's too much stuff. You know? So really, really look at what you're sending people and just because I put it up there as a script doesn't mean it's good. Okay, I'm re I'm remaking them. Okay, um, all right. Last any more? Oops, somebody said something. Any more questions before we get off? Okay, Consetta, I will send that to you. Um, 
All right, great. And while we're all on here, and I see Star on here, let's welcome Star um, to the team. She is um, one of our new coaches that is actually doing it for the discount right now and thinking about um, joining as a coach. So this was her first um, team call, so she's probably going to run now for the hills. But um, <laughs> So let's all welcome um, Star. Hey, welcome Star. And we also have Brittany, who is um, a great friend of mine. We've gotten really close and she is also a new coach killing it. She's done the three day refresh, the 21 day fix, and it's getting the ultimate reset all in three weeks and has lost like what, 20 pounds, 15 pounds, 12, 12 pounds. Yeah. So, um, and is super dedicated and is doing amazing and already motivating so many people. Um, and definitely check out her wall because she's posting great about Beachbody with no, without posting about Beachbody without any training, which is awesome. So um, great. Well, thank you everyone for jumping on and I hope everyone has a wonderful night. Um, next week, oh, I just want to one more thing. Next week, um, we are going to um, all share different conversations that we've had and we're going to have to have tough love. I'm going to show you some of mine and we're all going to offer suggestions based off of conversation. You know what I'm saying? Like based off of conversations that we're having and how we can um, grow from the conversations that we're having when, when somebody gives us a no. So we're kind of going to like present our conversation and then talk about it. And I'll give you more information on that later. Okay. Great guys. Well, have a good night. Thanks for jumping on. Hey. Hey, Michelle. Hey, thank you. Is it good? It's great. <laughs> Lucas is still up as you can hear. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Lucas. Go to bed for your mama. Yeah, well, he fell asleep at 5.30. And, like, I could, he would not stay awake. I could not keep him up. I mean, he was just, like, his eyes were just closing and he fell asleep. And I tried to wake him up after, like, 15 minutes, after half an hour. After, like, So he didn't end up. You're being silly. Do you want to say hello? Yeah. He, he started talking like a baby. Lately, he started saying goo goo, gaga all the time now. Landon does that too. It makes you feel bad like they're doing it for like a reason. Landon got beat up at school today. Like he got choked. Yeah, we had to go to school tomorrow for a meeting to figure out what happened. Like, his head was like, like went like this to him. Mm, yeah. That's so scary. And I have a mamma at 30 in the morning. Like another three year old? Yeah. And they're like, he doesn't speak English. He's new here. And I'm like, I was like, Landon, he's like, Landon's like, I was just playing with Alfonso and he came up and choked us. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lucas got bitten like his second day of school, literally his second day ever in school. Like this girl, like this little girl, like bit his wrist, like grabbed onto his wrist and would not let go. What is up with these biters? I never was a biter. Like, I don't get it. You remember that? Well, yeah. She grabbed that? That was someone else, right? I don't remember. It was Clara. It was Clara, but it was someone else. It was, um, um, I can't remember her name, the girl with the red curly hair that bit your wrist. Do you remember that? You were little. It was a whole year ago. It was your first day of school. That's crazy. Oh, my gosh. So I think it was good to do it like that, to, like, start over, like, start over with the PowerPoint and then I'm going to teach it like a lesson and then give like a homework assignment. Yeah. No, so? Yeah. I thought it was really good. Okay. I got nervous a little bit cause it was a lot of information and I didn't want to bombard people, but I got to start doing intensive trainings like this. And then when people go through coach basics, then I'm making modules for them and then they have to complete a module and submit me their homework. I'll be one second. I'll be off in a second. All right. Well, you can go play Sorry. with it's okay. It's hard to hear when he's like screaming. I'm I have to go of my put Aura gel on my bone gums anyway. <laughs> Bye, Lucas. Okay, we'll talk to you soon.